I'm sitting with Rachel McCormick, president of Micromax. Rachel, what is Micromax? Micromax is a software engineering services business, uh, which also has its own proprietary product. And we mostly sell our services and our product to automotive companies within the U United States and also Europe and Asia. Um, so tell us a little bit the story of how you founded the business, how you've grown it. Well, I founded the business in 1997. Um, I had been working for another company and uh, was not really enjoying reporting to someone else. I do best when I'm my own boss. I have a law degree and my particular expertise in the legal field was in legal research. So I decided I was going to set up in business, doing legal research for other attorneys. And that's what I started out doing in uh, 1997. Um, I incorporated Micromax in so, 1997. So very different from where you are today. Very, very different. Okay. And the change came about because in 1998, my husband, Mike McCormack, became available from a previous enterprise that he had been involved in and he already had a lot of background in the software engineering field as well as a lot of contacts uh, locally within that field so I said why don't you join up with me and we'll still be a services business it'll be a combination of legal services and software engineering services and for you know the first year or two that's what it was but as time went on we found the potential was greater on the software engineering side and also that I myself was best utilized as uh, heading operations here and running the business and so I gradually moved away from providing services to other people to running Micromax and my husband runs the software engineering side of the business. Okay, tell me a little bit about the software services business, the software engineering services business. Um, where are you in that? Well, we provide consulting services to other companies, primarily automotive companies, the OEMs and their suppliers. And what we do for them is we will assist them with their development and with their testing of their software products, their embedded software that goes inside the cars that we all drive. We can develop an entire module, we can develop parts of one, and we can test anything large or small and we're often called on when a customer has a particular piece of software that they need to have tested so that we can make sure there's no bugs in it that there's not going to be an expensive product recall down the road. Well, so <laughs> what is an embedded system? Well it's a system that runs for example in your car that you don't have a user interface to like a like a PC with a keyboard um, it's embedded into the controls of your car, and an example would be your um, your ABS, your braking system, okay. or your um, tire pressure monitoring system, that's another embedded system, or your airbags, or your radio controls, uh, remote keyless entry, all those kind of systems that are now becoming ubiquitous but were quite new a few years ago. So, so this is something then where I sort of like ABS, let's take that as an example. I, I think I'm pressing on the brake, but what's actually happening is, is I'm pressing on the brake, that's sending a signal to some microprocessor, which is monitoring how my wheels are spinning, and then figuring out how to apply the braking pressure to each wheel. Right. And I have no idea that any of that is going on. Right, and you, you shouldn't need to know about that, that's right. And, and, so it, and so in some sense, it's like a product, enhan it's a product enhancement that comes about through software. Really. Yeah. So you're mainly on the testing end of that. Well, testing and development. I mean, um, for example, if a client becomes short of resources and they have a, a product that has a particular deadline and they don't have the internal resources to get that product complete by the deadline, they can call us, we have the resources, we can get on it right away and we can help them to meet that deadline on the development side. But um, I think most of our clients do regard us as primarily a testing company where we'll take their product and test it to make sure that it is functioning the way it should be. Now you're primarily dealing in the automotive industry? Right now we are, although the services that we provide and the product that we sell 
is equally applicable in other fields. Um, for example, avionics, we think there's a huge market there. Defense, if we want to pursue the uh, government contracting route. Um, even white goods for uh, consumer appliances, there's a market there. But right now, and mainly because of our geographic location here right. in Detroit, because the automotive companies are here, they're an obvious client for us. But I should say that we have just recently, or very recently, opened our first regional office in Huntsville, Alabama. And oh, so, really? Yes. And so we are seeing that there's going to be a lot more opportunities for diversifying outside of automotive. It sounds like you're using your current base of business, automotive, to establish that. Yeah, because that's what we know. And that's where we have a reputation and I really think we have a reputation that's second to none in the field that we do. So the, the difficulty is going to be persuading people in other industries that we really know what we're talking about. So to the extent that we can take our knowledge base and even our client base in automotive and say, look, this is what we do and this is who we do it for and apply that to other areas, I think that's going to be of huge benefit to us down the road. And for some of these companies that we do automotive services for, those companies, for example, Continental, I mean, they're a huge global company and they do business in a lot of other areas. It's not just automotive. So we think that we can make our way through into those other areas of the, of the client base. Uh, oh, so you wouldn't just be working with the Chryslers of this world. You oh, would no. also be working with the OEMs. I mean, that's... Yeah. That's where yeah. we come. Yeah. Okay. And, and the OEMs are typically in multiple industries, and so this That's is right. potentially a way out for you. That's right.